Hey you guys, this is Eric McCarthy here once again for another collection video and today I'm going to show you guys my Roland Emmerich DVD Blu-ray collection and I, and I know that this is a really short collection because I'm doing this in honor of Independence Day Resurgence coming out in theaters tomorrow since I'm, I'm recording this on a, on, a, on a Thursday, June 23rd, 2016 I, I decided to, to, to do this right before the, the new movie comes out so I have one blu-ray and three DVDs so anyways l l let's get started with the blu-ray first and as, as you know, as you know this this is the blu-ray of Independence Day um, I, I, I got I got this at Harrison's comics and collectibles on Sunday down in downtown Salem mass and and I do like this cover art it's really nice so Yep, and this was nine dollars ninety-five cents. So, anyways, here's the front. Here's the spine. The other spine, in the back. You can pause the pause the special features if you want. I'm not gonna read them all. And this is a 1996 film. And this is a like this is 146 minutes. It's rated PG-13. Okay. Here's the actual Blu-ray case. It, different artwork. So, anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. The back is pretty much different. It's an Nico case, and here's the, the disc with some great, excellent artwork. So, yeah, um, I haven't seen this movie yet, but I'm hoping to watch this first thing tonight before going to see Independence, Independence Day Resurgence. So, yeah, so Independence Day, I promised myself I, I will watch this first thing tonight, and yeah, so... I will give, give this a watch tonight when I get the chance to. Next up, I have the deluxe wide widescreen pres presentation DVD of Godzilla, and and it says from the creators of Independence Day, which I I already showed you. This was three dollars and ninety nine cents. I remember showing this for my DVD update. If you want to see that, then go ahead. Size does matters. Wait, size does matter, and it has Godzilla Godzilla's eye on there. So, anyways, here's the front, here's the spine, in the back, and it says it's big, it's loud, it's fun. It's done by Joe Siegel, Siegel of Good Morning America. And the film never loses either Montinium on its human scale, as stated by Kevin Thomas of the Los Angeles Times. Here's the special features if you want to read them. This is a 1998 film. And it's rated PG-13. And I don't see the running time because I think it's in small print. But I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, anyways, here's the um here's the DVD guide and here is the disc which has Godzilla and the background of New York City. I'm not going to show the guide for this cuz I don't want this big video to take too long. So anyways, um I Godzilla, I have seen this movie before and comparing this to the 2014 remake, I think that the remake was a little bit more better than this one since Godzilla didn't appear like in, like for the first like like m minutes of the film so and they are coming up coming coming up with a sequel Godzilla 2 um I think in 2019 if I'm if I'm not mistaken but if you guys know please let me know anyways there you go with Godzilla and the the next one I got is um, I think this is like a 2005 DVD of The Day After Tomorrow from the director of Independence Day, which I already showed you at the beginning of the video. 
this was three dollars ninety nine cents, and it has a good holographic slip cover, which is really nice. And this is wide widescreen too. The, the other the other I have another copy of this movie, which I'll show next, which is full screen. So anyways, here's the front. Here's the spine. The other spine, and the back. What a Ride is, is stayed by Joe Siegel of Good Morning America. Totally Cool is stayed by Gene Shalit of The Today Show. Spectacular is stayed by Jim Ferguson of ABC TV. Here are the special features if you want to read them. I'm not going to read them to you. It's rated PG-13 and it's 123 minutes. Here's the actual DVD case. Everything's the same. Spine, the back. Here's the DVD guide. I'm not going to show it. Here's the disc, which has great artwork. And I haven't seen this movie before, but I heard some like good things about it. So, anyways, um, the day after tomorrow, I can't really comment on it, so, if you guys seen this movie, can you tell me if it's good or bad, so I can know for sure. So, anyways, there you go with Indep um, The Day After Tomorrow. I and I also have another copy of The Day After Tomorrow, which is this one, the, the full screen edition. And it says, thumbs up, the special effects are terrific, stayed by Roger Ebert of Ebert and Roper. Here's the front, spine, the back, everything is the same. Okay, once again the DVD guide. And here is the disc, which has different artwork from the from the widescreen DVD. So yeah, like I said before, um, the day I did, the day after tomorrow, oh, I haven't seen it, and I also have the junior novelization, which I'm not gonna show because I'm I'm showing the D DVDs in the Blu-ray. So yeah, there you go. That's my Roland Emmerich DVD and Blu-ray collection. I I know I don't have all of them, but I hope to get more soon. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to check out my other collection videos if you haven't. Be sure to like this video. And tell me, guys, are you going to go see Independence Day Resurgence, Resurgence tomorrow? Please let me know. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to rate, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And, and I hope to, ch and I, and I hope to um, do more videos soon when I, whenever I get to. So, see you later, everybody.